Recently, I hit my first 10K month. That is with a YouTube channel with under 20,000 subscribers. And it's with a channel that's a complete personal brand where I talk about things that I deeply, deeply love and I'm passionate about. This has allowed me to afford a lifestyle where I can travel where I want, I don't have a boss, and I have complete lifestyle freedom. The kind of lifestyle freedom that just five years ago would have been absolutely inconceivable to me, would have felt like a complete pipe dream, far-fetched, but it isn't. And in this video, I'm talking about how you can achieve the same thing. And we're talking about specifically something that I believe you should be doing. I believe that every creator should be doing if they wanna be financially free and financially independent and location independent and all that, all that good stuff, okay? It's something that I don't see happening often enough. And there's a grand opportunity here if you can grab the ball by the horns, listen to what I'm saying and implement it in your life, okay? So let me just, to give you some background, let me talk about what's happening in the online space right now. There is a push to personal brands. That's personal brands. If that sounds a bit too entrepreneurial or whatever, or you're like, oh shit, that sounds like intense. I can't start a personal brand. All it means, mate, is just starting, to, starting a blog and writing some articles and starting to create and share that with the world. That's all, the, that's all a personal brand is, okay, really? Um, and you can monetize it. There's a big push towards this, and I celebrate it. I really love that because a, a push towards personal brands means that people for the first time are realizing that they, don't, they can win their freedom, earn their freedom by talking about the things they fucking love to talk about. The internet has allowed this. Never in human history before has this been possible. The internet has completely enabled it to happen. It's a grand opportunity. And it's also good for everybody. Let's say that you start talking about something that's very important to you in a way that serves other people. Now, let's say that you wanted to do that, but instead you're in this cubicle working a nine to five job that you really don't like. The world will be deprived of your gifts, mate. The world will be deprived of you sharing your genuine passion with the world. You're not serving the world in the highest, in your highest potential and experiencing your highest potential and sharing that with the world when you're stuck in that goddamn cubicle. And personal branding is your ticket out. It was my ticket out and I, and I took it. But specifically, it's a big topic, so I'm going to talk about one thing in particular that I think is super high leverage for you to get, focus on and get, get to work on. And it solves this very specific problem that I keep seeing because people are starting personal brands and they're making a big mistake. And that mistake is they're looking at other people's personal brands and they're trying to copy people. They're trying to copycat other people. This, not only does this stunt your personal growth journey, which is a real big problem, because if you're not growing, you're not staying the same, you're actually going backwards. So that's a big problem. But not only that, it's also gonna screw you over financially and monetarily. Because if you try to imitate someone else who's being themselves, you will only ever be a cheap substitute. And I say cheap on purpose because the marketplace and other people will see that because your ideas are not your own. Your ideas are just coming from someone else. You're just a mouthpiece. Like there are shitloads of Andrew Tate and Hamza clones on YouTube now. Just guys that are trying to be aggressive and just, they're trying to basically say the exact same words. And I'm like, mate, you'll never get paid. You'll never get paid doing this. You might get paid a bit, but people are just gonna go to Hamza or Andrew Tate because they're being, they're being authentic. I'm not saying that they're amazing, by the way, but I'm just saying they're, they're at least being authentic. They're not copying anyone else, okay? So what we need to do, the objective here is that what we need to do is we need to find what's in you, what is authentically in you that you can, there's lots of gold in there. There's, a hun, there's like, there's so much money and potential and everything is, in, is already in you, okay? We just need to mine it like a gold miner, finding the, finding the gold or the diamonds or whatever. I don't know why a gold miner would be looking for diamonds, but hey, whatever, right? <laughs> if it works, it works. So the question is, how do we, what, where do we look and what do we do to make sure that you can monetize a personal brand that's genuinely impactful, not a copycat, in a way that also allows you to continue your personal growth journey through this life and reach your potential? Well, secret weapon is uh, this. This, right here, this bad boy. It's a journal if you're not, if you're not aware. <laughs> so journaling is, uh, a few videos ago I made a, a video, a few videos ago I talked about the Ollie method for monetizing yourself and productizing yourself online. And that's the three, three parts. 
O stands for outlet. L stands for launch, your personal brand. I stands for integrate. But this journal focuses on the first thing, which is the foundation for all the rest of it. If you don't have this first foundation, none of the other ones are going to work. And that foundation comes from outletting your thoughts, your emotions, everything, your passions, your interests, everything onto the page. Because what does this do? This allows you to clarify what makes you tick. This allows you to become aware of what makes you really passionate, what you really think, clarify what your values are. It allows you to also process your own trauma and your own pain and solve your own problems. Because what we're looking for in a personal brand that really pays you are some unique insights and unique original thoughts that can't come from anyone, anybody else. Generally speaking, if you make a video or produce a piece of content that could be said better anywhere else, that value of that content is gonna decrease. But if you create a video or create a piece of content that nobody else on the planet could possibly say better than you, that value increases. To, and I'll stop waving my journal around, I think you get the point. But <laughs> to give you an example, um, some recent videos I've talked about personal stories. I've given you some personal stories in my own life. The last video I talked about my struggle with emotional eating. Nobody on the planet can talk about Oliver Cowlishaw's emotional eating struggles better than me, right? So that's an original thought, that's an original story. And that would not have come about if I had not started writing about it and identifying it as a problem in my own life. So what I would say to you, mate, is this. If you're, if you're not sure where to start, if you're not sure what to do or where to look, or if you're not even sure about if you can provide any value to anybody or if this is the right path or anything, then I say, I'll say to you the one thing I say to every man that wants to get paid for his creations. Learn to write. Sit down every day, carve out one hour of your time and write 500 words a day. For how long? For the rest of your life, brother. For the rest of your life. Are you going to produce three or four videos and then you're done? And then you're wondering why your bank account isn't full? You need to become a creator, mate, not a consumer. Because right now, if you're like most people, you're a consumer first and you're a creator second. Not good enough. You can do better. If you write 500 words a day with the intention of making asterisks and highlighting things, unique perspectives that you can weave into your content, where you can identify your values that form the, the foundation of your personal brand, where you can write about things that you really authentically give a fuck about in the world so that you can create an audience that also cares about that and shares the same views, then mate, 500 words a day, in six months later, you have a solid foundation for a solid personal brand. But the cool thing is, you don't need to wait that long. That's why the Oli method exists. You start creating, you start writing 500 words a day. When you find a unique perspective, write about it, take that journal that you're writing, take it public and stick it on a fucking blog or a YouTube channel and share it with the world. Don't wait, okay? If you're not journaling and you're not writing while building your personal brand, you are missing out. And your only hope of actually, actually getting success is to copy everyone else. And as I described earlier, that's not gonna work. If you're not sure where to start, then click the link in the pinned comment below because I created a 31 day free journaling tool for you that's gonna give you a high impact writing prompt every single day. So if you commit to doing this for one month, a writing practice for one month, I hold your hand for, for like a full month. Commit to this and I promise you, what you will then have is you'll be able to look back on those 31 days and you'll be able to identify certain things that you can weave into your content or form, as, form a part of your personal brand. It's a fantastic way to get started, mate. So don't waste any time. Click the link down below and get working on that. And I will see you, brother, in the next video. Peace, mate.